Good morning. Uh, welcome to the first edition of the award video hours. Uh, we will have a total of, uh, of six sessions in order to split our 82 uh, awardees. As already mentioned, we, re we received a record number of 475 nominations this year. The topic is employment for persons with disabilities and also information and communication technology. And over the summer and by the help of our more than 7,000 experts all around the globe, we have been able to choose 10 innovative policies and 72 innovative practices. What is a practice? A practice is a service or a product invented and performed by an individual or an organization. And what is an innovative policy? A policy is a law, a standard, a regulation, which has influence on the topics we have been describing. And what are our selection criteria? We select on innovation, it has to be new, not necessarily a global innovation, but at least a regional one. We select on impact, we don't want unicorns and, and prototypes, we look for trusted models who have shown some results already because for us this is very, very important, as is the third criteria, which is scalability. Scalability means that it can be transferred to different environments and can be replicated and multiplied. So stay tuned and we're gonna start uh, in a second, but first let me introduce uh, our guest this morning, Franz Wolfmeier. Thank you for coming, Franz. Um, and uh, please, let's start with the uh, videos now. What is Stepping into Internship program about? Stepping into is a demand-led internship program. Employers offer a minimum of 152 hours paid work during the summer or winter university breaks. And we interview every applicant. That was 700 this summer. We match students with employers according to location, degree, career goals and skills. We help them plan how they'll manage their disability in the workplace. What is unique and innovative about stepping into internship program? That employers are asked to hire based on the skills and knowledge of the student. We do not discuss a student's disability. Each intern decides if and when they share their disability information with the employer. Another unique aspect is that we coach both students and employers on how to conduct the interview. How did this solution change your life? Well, I think the program's definitely impacted my life in that it's given me an opportunity to try out a career that I might like to pursue after university. Um, the program has, has definitely made me want to explore a career um, in, the, in the public sector moving forward. And uh, as well as this, it's, it's made me feel um, less nervous about the transition from university life to working full time. How does stepping into internship program work? Employers pay around 2,700 US dollars to attract, interview, shortlist and refer students. So they pay us that fee so that we can find the right candidates for uh, our employers who participate. What is next for Stepping Into Internship program? We want more university students with disability to use the program to launch their successful career. We also want to develop a Stepping Into alumni network that will support people with disability to have as much career and leadership development to achieve their potential and live their best life. What is Income Generation Activities about? 
most important element of our innovation is that we want to show to the world that deafblind people have talents and skills and potentials and we want to unlock those potentials so that they become earning members of society. What is unique and innovative about income generation activities? The most unique aspect of our innovation is that in our world, every person who contributes in the family income is respected and seen with dignity. We want the same thing for deafblind people. How did this solution change your life? How does income generation activities work? What we do is we provide seed capital to set up the income generation activity or the economic activity. And then when the income comes, it is plowed back into the economic activity so that it generates continuous income and the savings are used for further development and also for other uh, products. What is next for income generation activities? Moving forward, we want to see that self-help group is created by deafblind adults and their families, which can support expansion of their economic activity, their income generation activity, and also support young adults who are coming new after vocational training to set up their own income generation activities. What is SANA work program about? The essential elements of SANA work program is that we network with the prospect employees in the community to find a pool of job opportunities. And then we match the young adult with intellectual disability with the right job uh, depending on his interest, uh, his skills, area of residence. And then we follow this by a period of training uh, on the job side. How does SANA work program work? SANA's business model is based on funds uh, received from donations and membership of annual and corporate uh, members. So we really heavily rely on uh, social responsibility of individuals and corporates in our community. What is unique and innovative about SANA work program? We did not create a vocational program within the organization. Uh, rather than that, what we did is we reached out to centers in the community that provide services for intellectually disabled young adults. And from these centers, we are uh, finding prospect employees, training them within the community. Uh, another unique feature is that we provide and we ensure continuity of the workers in the work site, whether it be from the day one we import parents from uh, the training process and we try to find key people within the organization who can be a source of support for the uh, workers and our job coaches also carry on periodic uh, uh, follow-up and visits to the work site to mitigate or any issues or problems that may arise on the job. What's next for SANA work program? Currently our largest employer sector are restaurants, hotels and supermarkets. And we hope that we will be able to expand this to include a variety of more work sectors. We also strive to become a role model and to help in promoting and training other community centers to adopt this practical and sustainable approach in their vocational training. How did the solution help you? SANA work program gave me the opportunity to work in Seagulls Broadcast Company as 
administrative officer. Sasana provided me with a job coach, which made me master my tasks easily. Now I have more confidence in myself and uh, have more friends and my self-esteem is high because I have a daily well-paid job. What is Virtual Ahan about? The essential elements of our innovation is our holistic impact formula that combines digital skills training, employment and entrepreneurship support, life coaching through well-being sessions, and community building. It is delivered 100% online and it is cost-effective and transferable social technology. It transforms our community members from beneficiaries to change makers. What is unique and innovative about Virtual Ahan? We have a resident psychologist that helps our scholars process their negative experiences and help them understand the root causes of inequality so that they can become disability inclusion champion once they are placed within a company. How does Virtual Ahan work? Our business model follows a cross-subsidy and paid-forward approach. Our scholars do not need to pay anything upfront when they enjoy the program, with the condition that they will pay it forward by sponsoring 50% of the scholarship of another scholar in the future. Our employment partners do not need to pay a recruitment fee when they hire people from us, with the condition that they will sponsor 50% of the scholarship so that we can train people and prepare them for employment. What is next for Virtual Ahan? We are currently upgrading our tech platform so that we can scale and replicate our impact formula via social franchising. Our goal is to onboard 100 organizations that will train 100 scholars every year respectively and collectively produce 10,000 persons with disability ready for employment and build the future of work that leaves no one behind. What is Ujawa all about? In each and every village, one vol volunteer elected by the community, either one from the farm sector and another from the off-farm sector. They are fully trained. They got the training, in-house training, as well as the field-based training. And after getting this training, they are going in the village, they are forming their inclusive self-help groups, they are forming their inclusive farm interest groups. After formation of these groups, these group leaders are getting the training on the same way. And after getting this training, they are having their ideas, maybe for the farm sector, for the off farm sector. We're identifying their skills, then developing their skills. Then after developing their skills, we are providing some financial support to them. What is unique and innovative about Ujawal? Innovation is, this is a volunteer-based model. Each and every village is having the, they are elected one volunteer so that this uh, he or she volunteer, they form their level institution. They are coming to form this block or district level institution, which is much more larger. Either it is cooperative society or the farmer producer organization. These institutions are formed by them, for them, and owned by them. This is our innovation. 
What is next for Ujawa? We are looking to promote this idea at larger level, at national level or the globally. Thank you very much. How did this solution help you? I have done what I have done with JV Khetty. I have started the process of developing a farm that we can do without the money that we can do without the money. I have done the master training in the JV Khetty or Prasikshan in the JV Khetty. I have done the training for every person to make a farm and make a farm. After that, the production is growing. This is our company. It has become a business in some business. What is College Connect about? Our College Connect program sets up smart inclusion centers in universities and special colleges. This brings all stakeholders on board, like the youth with disabilities, their parents, companies, educators, and the government. What is unique and innovative about College Connect? Many companies asked us for educated, skilled youth with disabilities. But where was the talent pool? Our system of setting up a smart inclusion center is innovative as it is a sustainable system changing model which we have piloted, tested and now scaling. How did this solution change your life? How does College Connect work? We have a hybrid business model. Companies give us grants through their CSR funds. We also charge for our specialized services like accessibility audits, sign language workshops, sensitization workshops, synchronizing technologies and hiring services. What is next for College Connect? Our Smart Inclusion Center, which brings all the stakeholders together on one platform, will help us to scale to all states of India, touch at least 50% of the educational institutions and replicate it in the neighboring countries. What is LUPD about? The main elements for our innovation would be the comprehensive way it is designed to tackle the structural and rooted barriers. Uh, it enables people with disability to access different uh, and variety of uh, fields to get specialized in so that they are more ready for having a job later on. How does LUPD work? The initiative's name 
Social Economic Development for People with Disabilities was funded by USAID Palatio. What is unique and innovative about LUPD? The result of this experience itself uh, will be uh, a good component for taking it forward to build on it regulation and criteria either within the syndicates of the private sector or inside the teaching bodies because the trainers who were first prepared on how to train diversity how on the etiquette of disability and others uh, this can contribute to later on uh, try to adjust the curricula for, for, for vocational training, at least in the area in which we have offered the training. What is next for LUPD? So this experience is a perfect model to build on uh, a national uh, action plan strategy and to put uh, uh, a long-term plan for uh, within the reform for how to make the national uh, education system for vocational uh, training inclusive. How did this solution help you? زينب مكي من الجنوب 33 سنة تعرضت لحادث سير مما أدى إنه صار عندي بتر برجلين يمين. وعطل بأجر اليسار تعرفت على جمعية الاتحاد اللبناني للمعوقين حركيا وهي ممولة من اليو اس اي خضعنا لتدريبات كتير وأخذنا دورات كتير واشتركنا بنشاطات كتير يعني أنا أول ساعتي لما اشتغلت صار لي هلا أنا هون تقريبا 14 يوم من فترة يومين قبضت أول معاش Wonderful. This is the first block of our EVOD videos. We have a total of 78, and you saw the first seven. Uh, Franz, good morning. Thank you for coming. Morning. Uh, let us start with a brief introduction who you are. Yes, thank you for inviting me. I am working since almost 40 years in the field of social services for persons with disabilities, but not only for persons with disabilities, also for elderly people, for young people, for families, and especially in a rural area. And I found it and lead it there for uh, 25 years, the Jean B Group. Jean B is a, not only a, an organization, it's also a concept, a model for inclusion. And I think the eastern part of Styria, where I'm living and where I'm working for, is one of the most inclusive regions in Europe now. And doing so, I was also involved in the founding and in the leading of networks. And the latest letter network I was working for was EISPD, the European Association of Service Providers for Persons with Disabilities, a huge European network. Very good. What did you particularly like about the Sevo TVs? We saw contributions from, from the Middle and the Far East. Uh, which one stayed in your mind? Uh, I think for me it was again uh, what I found when I traveled to, through the world. Uh, you find good examples everywhere in the world and I think that's important that we can see, we can learn from each region in the world. The second I would say is uh, civil society is important to change the society. So, uh, And we could see in all these examples that uh, cooperation of civil society and administrations and policy is important to change society. So to make society more inclusive means not to change society before, it means do it. And that we can see here. You have been definitely a, a doer and, uh, and with Jean Spey the, the second chance. Uh, you started the model I think a long time ago. Uh, and it became, became a role model. You have award, uh, been awarded several times the, the Zero Project Award. Uh, tell us maybe about the, the initial motivation of the beginning uh, and then where the organization is at the moment. Yeah, the initial motivation was that children with disabilities at, uh, at the middle 80s in the former century uh, 
could not stay at home, they had to stay in hospitals. And families wanted to have them at home, and we started to do that. And so we slowly developed the system. We tried to find solutions for these children and families, but we couldn't find them. So we asked them what would they have need, uh, what, what need they would have to, to stay in their family, in their uh, community and so slowly the, the system developed and now uh, Chance B is a, a group of uh, uh, services which supports from birth until death, uh, which on, not only supports the person with disability, it supports the system. So it's not only an employment model, it's also an inclusion model. Franz Joffin, president of ESPD. ESPD is the umbrella organization of European service providers. Uh, and when we get above all here in Europe, European statistics, but I think it's a global phenomenon, you always, we always see the gap between uh, employment rates of, of persons with and without disabilities. What's, what's your way from your experience, uh, the way forward to close this gap? Uh, I think the most important thing for the moment is not only to think about single solutions, it's uh, we have to think about uh, inclusive labor markets. And to do so, we have first to, uh, to delete uh, barriers. We have to find out barriers. So in, in Austria, for example, we have a legal barrier. Uh, some people are declared non-employable and that has to be changed. So it's a, a legal barrier still after 10 years after the UN Convention. Uh, the second is we need the, the support. So the model of uh, supported employment is still the most effective models in, in the world and it's very well developed in Europe and this model has to be provided for whole regions and for all people who need it. Uh, and uh, the third important thing I think is, and it is in the concept of this new uh, uh, commission of the European Commission. It's a, an action plan about social economy. We saw a lot of good examples in social economy and I think social economy actors would be, would create more employment uh, uh, um, opportunities for persons with disabilities. So that's it, I think. Very good. Thank you, Franz. Always good to see you and, and to listen to you above all. Uh, we continue with the, the second part of the EVOD videos, this time from Europe and from, from Africa. What is Special Needs Initiative for Growth about? The essential element of our innovation focuses on demand-driven IT entrepreneurship and career development for young adults with special needs. Also, we try as much as possible to enable them assess jobs and or become self-employed after they have been trained. How does Special Needs Initiative for Growth work? Our business model is basically all about assessing local and global grants. We have obtain grants from organizations such as the Polynesian Project, Peace First, CFAX Group, and other local organizations within Nigeria. What is unique and innovative about Special Needs Initiative for Growth? Our solution is quite unique and it differs because we focus our solution based on recommended research objectives, whereby we leverage on assistive and rehabilitative technologies, we leverage on mentorship, we leverage on capacity building, we leverage on career development and entrepreneurship. What's next for Special Needs Initiative for Growth? We want to be able to partner with other developmental organizations in the international space, and together we can provide the right learning opportunities where persons with special needs are vocationally trained, empowered, to be able to do a particular skill and then translate that skill into earning a living, a decent living. How did this solution help you? For the last three years, we've been in collaboration with the Special Needs Initiative for Growth, who have put in place quite a number of very, very viable structures to train 
our young adults and to prepare them for employment and inclusiveness in the society. What is Ability at Work about? Ability at Work is a rights-based support employment service offering training and employment opportunities to young people with intellectual disabilities and autism. This service is tailored to meet each person's unique needs, dreams and goals. The job coaches provide training, upskilling and on-the-job support to help the person become work ready. What is unique and innovative about Ability at Work? We are addressing the growing inequalities in the labour market towards people who are marginalised by breaking the cycle of poverty. We help to fulfil people's dreams and reach their full potential to become active, valued citizens in their own communities. How did this solution change your life? When I first joined Ability at Work two years ago, I was insecure and defeated from all the jobs I had unsuccessfully applied for. After a while, I was encouraged by my job coach to get involved in advocacy. I'm now the first ever president of the Ability Board. I consider myself the voice for the voiceless. I am now helping people just like me. And I just received some good news this Saturday that I finally have a job. How does Ability at Work work? We received funding three years ago from the Irish Government and the European Social Fund. However, we are very concerned for the future. We are worried about the impact of this pandemic and Brexit on the Irish economy. History has shown us that in these times, people with disabilities are often disregarded. What is next for Ability at Work? We have many creative ideas to help people to become employed in social enterprises, green energy and environmental projects. However, our funding comes to an end in July 2021, so we urgently need funding to sustain our project into the future. What is Accessible Public Sector Employment about? Plena Inclusión es la organización que defiende los derechos de las personas con discapacidad intelectual y de sus familias. Venimos colaborando desde el año 2012 con el Ministerio de Función Pública en la elaboración de convocatorias específicas de empleo público para personas con discapacidad intelectual. What is unique and innovative about Accessible Public Sector Employment? Este proyecto ha supuesto una transformación muy importante eh, en muchos niveles, tanto en la administración pública, porque ha, eh, este proyecto garantiza que la administración pública incorpora también a estas personas y de esta manera se hace diversa como la sociedad, y también porque eh, promueve la calidad de vida de las personas con discapacidad intelectual a través de un empleo fijo, estable y bien, eh, bien valorado socialmente. How did this solution change your life? Pues yo estoy en la Dirección General del Catastro y mi puesto de empleo es ser ordenanza y llevo paquetes para arriba para abajo, hago recados y muevo material de oficina. Pues mi vida ha cambiado y que tengo una gran seguridad. Antes yo era una persona muy nerviosa, ahora soy más tranquila y en que, bueno, o sea, he cambiado en un 100% de todo, o sea, desde cómo vestirme hasta cómo incluso hablar. How does accessible public sector employment work? Eh, la manera en la que nos subvencionamos en plena inclusión es a través de, eh, de subvenciones y en este caso hemos contado con subvenciones tanto a nivel público como a nivel privado. What is next for accessible public sector employment? 
Por último, eh, la perspectiva de futuro de este proyecto es poder incorporar este, estas convocatorias específicas en todos los niveles de la administración española y eh, también poder incorporar al empleo público a las personas con mayores necesidades de apoyo. What is TCPID Graduate Internship Program about? For many years, these young people were just expected to go to day services uh, and not to be real citizens and part of their own community. Where we prepare uh, the young people, but we also prepare the businesses and we work in facilitating um, internships which three, six months, they're fully paid. They have a mentor from within the business. And there's real ambition that these young people will be successful. What is unique and innovative about TCPID Graduate Internship Program? We, I think, really address the needs of young people with intellectual disabilities for um, academic challenge and achievement in learning and then the links into the business world and beginning to understand what's it like to be a worker to be employed to be paid to be valued i think that's what's really unique about what we do how did this solution change your life as i was a kid or a teenager it was my dream you know what i mean because I love working in the office, work very hard, and I'm very really happy with my achievement. From the old me to the new me. How does TCPID graduate internship program work? Business model uh, is based on a partnership model between our business partners who fund uh, a number of our activities along then with philanthropic supports uh, where they've recognized the kind of work, the innovative work that we're doing and they're, they're, they want to support that. What is next for TCPID Graduate Internship Program? We think the model is, um, can easily be shared with our partners around the country and our ambition would be that it would be a government initiative to really support and build capacity. What is Inclusive Livelihood for Refugees about? Well, really essential has been the role of persons with disabilities in helping World Vision to really identify some of the challenges around water and livelihoods and really helping us to bring together those two elements and really helping us to address change at systemic level so that persons with disabilities are a key part of decisions that are made on livelihoods and wash issues. What is unique and innovative about inclusive livelihood for refugees? The triggers for this work were the context in Uganda, in a context where South Sudanese refugees are living in communities but lack the water and livelihoods opportunities to really exploit the position that they're in. So really, the program team on the ground really identified ways in which they could work to really support those people with disabilities in accessing water and the livelihoods in a way that was meaningful and could provide long-term change for them. How did this solution change your life? <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
yani na kona pai da pai bo toru mi de duga bongo yani na do jengi jengo ama ito de ipere tingero kine li tinga ngara kina na konga jike kila era pa isukulu then they also giving us washing facilities like water cans then also like right now this is skills which we they have been training us for making shoes we got from wildi bison that is why really i'm sure that when i really settle properly maybe in my future i will gain some things from the knowledge which was be given by by wildi bison how does inclusive livelihood for refugees work The financing of this program was initially provided by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for Finland and has been for uh, three or four years. So going forward, what we're really looking at is utilizing our private money to extend this to development sectors and also to integrate it into proposals focused on refugee populations in other parts of the world from uh, government funders. What is next for inclusive livelihood for refugees? We are excited to be able to expand this to our work in refugee camps in, in other areas like Rwanda and Burundi, but also into our development programming where we have private money that we can use to implement it. What is ClapJob about? The basic principle behind ClapJob is that we create and design the jobs first in the companies. If you have an intellectual disability, you can choose one of many hundred jobs in different companies. What is unique and innovative about ClapJob? ClapJob is unique because we start by designing a lot of jobs based on our many years of experience. Then we help the applicant to choose the job that suits her best. The applicant is confirmed that she has skills that are wanted in many companies. How did this solution change your life? I Man er ikke så social. Det er meget bedre at komme ud og lave noget og gøre en lille forskel, så man er en del af samfundet igen. How does ClapJob work? All persons with an intellectual disability get some kind of a disability pension in Denmark from their municipality. This covers their most basic needs. On top of this, they get a salary from the company and they can increase their income by 25% depending on the numbers of hours they work. What is next for ClapJob? We have a vision of a labor market that has room for people with all sorts of special needs. There are 30,000 people in Denmark who has the potential of getting a ClapJob. We hope to get the chance to see them all included in society the way they wish. Congratulations to the winners. Uh, unfortunately, this year there will be no award ceremony, so we have decided to take the effort uh, and produce these videos in order to honor the Zero Project AWDs in 2021. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with the process, I want to shed some light on it, how it is done. Usually in, in late spring, uh, we issue a call for nominations. Uh, we are using an online uh, registration and nomination tool, but there's also uh, accessible bird formats available. Usually we close the nomination uh, at the beginning of the summer and during the course of the summer, uh, we start the three phase evaluation process and usually uh, at the end of August, beginning of September, uh, we announced the shortlist. This year we had 178 uh, project practices and policies on the, on the shortlist. 
and then we engage directly with the organizations because uh, we do the fact sheet writing, so we need to verify the information. We ask for some more, we ask some uh, more material from videos uh, to pictures to supportive documentation, and then the fact sheets are done uh, by the end of November, and this is then comes into conference planning, and this year uh, we were coming back to you uh, in asking for video material to do the recording, uh, to get also some beneficiaries in front of the camera. And at this point in time, we really want to thank you for your, your cooperation. I know we have been very insisting and almost sometimes pesting, uh, and you have been so supportive, and, uh, and uh, I, I think the result was definitely worth it. So this concludes the first hour of our EVOD videos. We will continue, we have a second session uh, at three o'clock CET uh, this afternoon. And uh, please stay with us and stay tuned to the Zero Project. Thank you. Wer soll eigentlich die Natur für künftige Generationen schützen? Staaten? Unternehmen? Wir selbst? Sollten wir das nicht alle gemeinsam tun? Also hören wir auf, nur zu reden. Verändern wir was. Gemeinsam. Und ein wichtiger Teil davon ist, was wir alle mit unserem Geld tun. Wenn wir darauf schauen, dass unser Geld Unternehmen zugutekommt, die sich für die Umwelt einsetzen, dann lassen wir auch unser Geld Gutes tun. Denn wenn ich in 50 Jahren mal mit meinen Enkelkindern hierher komme, will ich sagen können, wir haben es geschafft. Gemeinsam. Gemeinsam verändern. Banke Austria.